Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will talk about the world's biggest UAV, the Sequoia 70 Okotnik B, which will enter production this year. The Russian unmanned aerial vehicle Sequoia 70 Okotnik B is nearing the end of its testing phase and will begin serial manufacturing in Novosibirsk in the second half of this year. Production was scheduled to start in 2025, but the developers were pushed to speed up. The powerful vehicle will be armed similarly to the fifth-generation Su-57 fighter. Furthermore, it will be able to function alongside it. Sergei Semka, the region's vice-governor, announced that serial production of the heavy drone Okotnik will commence in Novosibirsk before the end of the year. The final step of testing is underway. He stated that production would begin in the second half of the year. The UAV Okotnik will be built at the Novosibirsk aircraft plant. Initially, work on it was scheduled to last until 2025, but in 2020, the Ministry of Defense encouraged the inventors to speed up. According to reports from August of 2023, the Okotnik testing is expected to be finished by 2024. Plans for export were disclosed, including several dozen units under one of the contracts. On January 10, Russian Navy Commander in Chief Admiral Nikolai Yevmanov announced plans to use the unmanned complexes Inokotits and Okotnik for naval aviation weaponry. The Okotnik is a heavy reconnaissance and strike unmanned bomber designed as a flying wing. It weighs about 20 tons, has a wingspan of 19 meters, and a length of 14 meters. Its construction incorporates many composite materials, replacing aluminium alloys. This lightens the structure and also makes it difficult to detect using radar. Using the flying wing aerodynamic strategy should help decrease radar visibility. The weaponry is kept inside bomb bays, and the aircraft lacks a conventional aircraft tail. The drone will be subsonic since its jet engine, which isn't equipped with an afterburner, is made to guarantee low observability. According to Russian Deputy Minister of Defense Alexei Kriveruchko, this unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, is a highly intelligent system that can solve a variety of duties on its own, in groups, and in coordination with manned aircraft. The Okotnik's low observability technologies will enable it to operate in environments where sending a manned aircraft would be too risky and breach opposing air defense systems. Then, conventional aircraft can be deployed through the breaches it creates in the enemy's defenses. The benefit of the Okotnik is that, even if the aircraft's features are similar to those of manned aircraft, a pilot does not die in the event of a loss. Do you think the Sequoia 70 Okotnik B can make a difference in the proxy war against NATO in Ukraine? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.